to the left, to the left. This is like, I feel like this is what like uh, middle-aged moms think Kenny G sounds like. Secret boots. We all know better, don't we? Crap baskets. What am I missing? Ain't nobody got time for you, man. Yeah, I, I've been playing uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, which is a which is a fine game. It's uh, you know, it's fine. It's pretty good. It, um, honestly, I'm just like, wow, I can't wait until I'm done with this game. Um, so I can cross it off my list, uh, which is like. Kind of a bummer because it, again, it's it's not a bad game at all. It's just it's not just excellent, uh, excellent character and killer fish. Uh, is that it? All right, there's something I'm missing. Yeah, because, like, it, uh, it's, it's, like I said, again, again, good game, perfectly fine game, um, not, not really all that, all that special, I guess, um, I suppose if you're the type of person who was thinking in the middle of the mid to late 2010, that uh, you were, you know, we were just kind of in a Castlevania drought, which, you know, is true, and you're just like, oh man, anything will do, then yeah, yeah, it's, it's better than nothing, but it's just, I don't know, the, um, the way that the moves and stuff work in that game are overwhelming to me, and what is it, what is it with uh, Koji Igarashi and just loving this concept of defeating monsters and getting their abilities. That's like his favorite thing in, in the world. I think. Wow. Can't get up there because I don't have any. Alright, what the hell, guys? Where am I? be able to echolocate to go to the bottom right. But in order to echolocate, I need to bring it back. Okay, there's a wall or something I missed up in the whole rocks. Uh, I, you know, one thing that I was disappointed about with, um, I shouldn't say disappointed, but I guess my, where my expectations weren't necessarily, they did not come to pass, was, um, God, how many more of those do you think I'm gonna have to, 
Um, so Zane McLernan, uh, actor that I that I really like, did the voice of Orox in Castlevania Nocturne. Ended up not really being as I don't know, like widely. It didn't seem like they used that character uh, a whole lot, which is too bad because he is a killer voice actor, um, slash actor actor. <sighs> yeah, we need to go fight him. However, I think I need I need something that I okay. So I'm just here. I'm missing something really, really obvious. And it's making me a little grouchy. <sighs> it's not it's not anything in the library yet, is it? No, and it's not anything up there. And it's not Oh. Shit, I see it. I know exactly where I need to go now. <sighs> okay, I know where I, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. <clears throat> okay. All right, now we're square, team. Now we're square. Time to lean, you got time to clean, buddy. Come on. Where's their manager at? Who's running this operation? Like, if Richter's saying he is the master of the castle, he needs to get his shit together. It's like, not impressed. Not impressed. The, uh, the NPS score of the castle, not great right now, guys. Not great. Not great. He's really letting the, letting the place go. <laughs> the manager stepped out. You know what's funny? Back in the day when I started my uh, banking career freaking a hundred years ago, uh, we were actually allowed to say some version of uh, if someone were to uh, request a manager, um, we were actually allowed to say some version of, uh, no, you don't need to waste my manager's time. Like, damn, can you imagine, can you imagine calling someone, having an issue, wanting to speak with the manager and having the person on the other, the other line basically tell you to F off? <laughs> that was... That was one of the few perks. Nate the Great, what? What is up, man? 
Holy cow, we have not seen nor heard from Nate the Great in a million years. Wow. Welcome back, sir. Uh, wow, holy cow. In fact, I think it was the last time we were playing Symphony of Night that Nate the Great blessed us with his presence. Oh, I know. I know what those trees are for, Nate, and you know what, buddy? I'm here for it. Here for it. If you got it, light it, buddy. Nate the Great was gonna come to my stream, but then he got high. He wanted to come watch me play Symphony of the Night. He wanted to jump on Twitch. But he forgot, and you know why. Cause he got high. Cause he got high. Cause he got high. Oh! Yeah, good to see you. Good stuff. So I want to go. <sighs> Crap. I need the F map. <sighs> okay, alright. I have never seen something super obvious. misremembering. Ha ha ha. Ha. Ha ha. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm heading. Okay, here we go. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go again. Back to the teleport room. Mm, no. Mm, yes. This is the one I want. <laughs> I love that sound effect. No. What is the name of this track? Does anybody know? Too well, yes, you said it, Quan Chisel. Too good. The music in this game is too good. I can't think of a single song from um, Bloodstained, like off the top of my head. Whereas the very first time I fired this game up, man, that Dracula's Castle theme, dude. Like, hell yeah. That fires me up. Man, I listen to that in the car, dude. He's trying to do a soul steal, but... Video games are hard. What's everyone's favorite boss in this game? I actually like Olrocks. Because you can just like kick it with him for a minute before you fight. Like, he'll, like he invites you to take a seat at his table and it's actually really nice. Was that on Liquid Swords, Quanchi? First shall be last, and last shall be first. Basic instructions before we hurt. No. That is not right. Pull, oh, where do we go, dude? Oh, uh, Gort. I can't remember that guy's name, but everybody in the chat was calling him the Jiggler. Like, Gorgamoth or something, right? Like, that thing was ridiculous. Because I know up at the left there is, um, I have to have that, uh, I have to have the, uh, Crunch and Spikes armor. Which I do not have. So this way goes... Bless you, buddy. Bless you. Bless you again. Did you make it there? Uh, thinking. Thinking. Alright, let's go back this way.
yeah, again, ritual of the uh, ritual of the night, uh, bloodstain. Not a bad game. That's a, that sounds about right. Got a library card. Hmm. Actually, uh. What can I do for you? I'm interested in this. <laughs> I'm interested right. in this. So we've got some stacks here. Let's. The sword named Harper. us at all. Okay, so how in the hell
I know where to go. I know where to go. Yep. Yep. I knew there was a spot where Never passed save point. All right, I think. So I think 9... 9.15 my time, which is mountain time here in the old US of A. Oh, well, you guys just freaking die. Uh, 9.15, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw the winner of the Quan Chi. I was kind of wondering why they put that clock there. Like, did it, did they put it there for a reason. Hell yeah! There we go. Mods, one. I think I gotta go by the Echo Legion Tower, right? Pretty sick. 
sir. Is there any way to get that out of here? She can heal you. that I have the uh, the bat, I can go exploring more places. So that uh, I'll just start with the tower up in the top right here. stuff and like promoting our stuff on each other's stuff and, like we're, we do that all the time all right do not come in to my stream and start just promoting your stuff without like if, if we don't know you like it's it's one thing like anyone who's on here regularly and, and you contribute and you interact hell yeah i want to know if you're doing something i want to know about that I want to know about that so we can share it. That's different. Don't come in here as some rando just like dropping your stuff in the chat. Like, get out of here, man. Don't do that. Like, don't. Don't do that. And again, this is, this is coming from someone who really values inclusivity in this community. I guess, man. Like, I, I mean, yeah, we're. <laughs> I don't know though, Quan Chi, because like earlier today, man, <laughs> me and Strodius were. I, I pulled Twitch up to look at something, and I mean, like, I've been. I keep an eye on how many viewers we got, and we've been 
this is a pretty popular game, so I think I think we get oh, we get some people from outside, which is awesome. And um, and I love that. And I love I mean like Nate the Great, dude. Like Nate the Great's awesome. He was he was around when we were playing this game the first time. Like Dire Bowser, Druidic Rex, like those guys came in because of this game uh, early on. And so this game, we always get uh, really, really good viewership. When I play this, and that super, and I mean, I've been rocking consistently between like six and ten average viewers all night, and I'm like really, 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 really happy with that. That's really, really, really good for us. But like I was on earlier, and it was like, uh, like watch your Asian waifu queen. And it was literally this girl cleaning her house. And she had 732 viewers. And like, look, I'm not shaming anyone. Get, like, get it. Get it. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Okay, I think it's over here, actually. Um, oh wait, no, 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 no. I think it's going to be different. I think it's going to be different. Yeah, if you can get it, get it. No shame at all. But like that, I am never gonna have that kind of audience. And that's okay. You know what I mean? That's okay. Like I'm, I, I stream a couple days a week, and I make dumb jokes, and I try to get people uh, somewhat familiar with the Children's Miracle Network the charity that I am passionate about. And like we have good conversation and we'll, we have a good community and I have a good time and it's always like a highlight of my week when I get to jump on screen and talk to you and I find that I love it. And so like if that's three viewers, if that's ten viewers, I don't care. I don't care. It makes no difference to me. It makes no difference to me. It's not going to change a goddamn thing about what I do and how I conduct myself when I'm on this channel. Uh, so, I mean, again, 3 viewers, 10 viewers, 30 viewers, 100 viewers, irrelevant, irrelevant. But I'll say it again. If you want to come in and be part of this community, welcome. Welcome. We are so happy you're here. Uh, we, we want to talk to you. We want to get to know you. We want to know what you like, what you don't like, what's your favorite game, what's your favorite fucking color. I don't care. Don't just drop in and drop your bullshit in the without like saying hi or like introducing like something. Like for real. Like, ugh. Sorry, that's the end of my rant. That's that's the end of my rant, guys. I'm, I apologize. But that pissed me off. That pisses me off a lot. And the thing is, I actually have been, because, you know, my uh, my daughter, Jax, does all of my artwork, and I ask her for stuff, and she does a great job on the stuff that I ask her for when I give her enough details, but, like, the problem is, I don't necessarily know what I need, and I don't necessarily know what I want all the time. So, interestingly, I am kind of in the market for potentially... Um, somebody to take a look at my Twitch and my YouTube and tell me what I don't know about what I should be using for emojis or for graphics or for things like that. Because, um, you know, my daughter's, she does great on like, like I said, literally everything I've ever asked her to do, she has delivered and she's done a great job on it. But like, number one, I don't want to take up all of her time. And number two, she's like, Dad, tell me what you want. I don't know. So I need someone to kind of help me figure out what it is that I'm looking for. Ghost card. Okay, that's another familiar. So I need somebody to tell me what I don't know. Like, listen, I will 
come and find you and I, I will figure out what it is I'm looking for. And I'll ask. You to, I don't need you to come into my channel and try to sell my shit. Never. Dead ass. No cap, as the kids say. Absolutely.